Well, hello Team Sport, welcome to the video. Well, this is a very short video to explain the use of modal verbs to express ability, advice and obligation. First of all, let's speak about ability. The typical, yes, the most, the one you know the most is can, is the modal verb that we use to express ability. But can is only used in the present. I can swim, I can't speak English, I can play the guitar. We use it for ability in the present. However, if we want to express ability in the past, we have to use could. Could is the past simple of can, so we use, for example, we say, when I was five years old, I could swim. When I was 10 years old, I could play the piano. So I express ability in the past. But if I want to speak about the future, for example, I can't use can and I can't use could. I have to use be able to. For example, if I tell you, one day I will be able to play that song in the piano. Yes, I will be able. It means an ability in the future. Okay, so in the present can, in the past could, in the future be able to, will or won't be able to. So that is uh, what we are going to work with concerning ability. Well, then Let's speak about advice. To give advice, we use should. Should is a modal verb, as every modal verb, it is followed by infinitive without to. So, for example, I tell you, you should study before the test. You should respect your big brother. Yes? You should look where you're going if you're in the street. Yeah, so it's advice. If we want to speak about obligation, we use must or have or has to. Yes, for example, you must um, wear a uniform at school. You have to wear a uniform at school. He has to be on time, yes, when he goes to work. Must is the same for all the subjects, I must, you must, he must, they must, have to changes, we have have to and has to. Yes, according to the subject we are using. In the past we used had to, because past, a must, I'm sorry, yes, is not used in the past. And finally, when we want to speak about absence of obligation, when it is not necessary to do something, we use don't have to or doesn't have to. It means it's not necessary. Yes, it's not prohibition. It is not necessary. For example, if you go to the, cin to the cinema, you don't have to buy popcorn. It's not necessary. It's not an obligation. Yes. Or, well, a uh, I study, I, I play the piano and, well, I have to practice, but I don't have to practice every day. It's not necessary that I do it every day, yes? So, models for ability, models for advice, obligation and uh, no obligation, yes? So that's what we uh, are going to study this week, okay? Well, very good. See you in class. Bye-bye.